So, Mr. Dieter, I have a question for you. What is the biggest hurdle or obstacle you see as you transition from a college wide receiver to NFL wide receiver? What does Mr. Bowden need to know most about, hey, this is how this goes from A to B? Uh, I think when you walk in the door, you just have to have a presence about you. you got to be a guy that that coaches can trust, that uh, that players like to be around. And I think the biggest thing for me was kind of learning that playbook as fast as possible because they're, they're not going to put guys out there that don't know what they're doing. And I've seen a lot of guys come in and out of this place uh, way more talented than me, uh, way more hyped than me. But at the end of the day, if you don't know the plays, you don't know where if you're not, a coach doesn't trust you and they're not going to put you in the game no matter what. So for me, that was the biggest thing was kind of just diving around that playbook. And <clears throat> it was – it was nice to have a quarterback that came in at the same time and Pat and so we could work together uh, outside of football, which we did. And uh, just to have somebody the same age, the same class and stuff like that's huge as well. But I think the biggest thing is just knowing knowing what you're doing at all times and, and have a presence about you when you walk in the building. Be a professional day in and day out. Don't be late. Take notes. Do all that stuff that, you know, you, you kind of overthink and. Uh, coaches really they take that stuff uh, they don't take it for granted they like they like that type of stuff and I think that's the reason why I'm still with the Chiefs so you didn't yeah, let the yeah, women I mean, come first right no no I, Blake, I, I've been, you hit it I've right been, the women don't come first no nah, nah, I was just playing I was just playing uh, but yeah what, what Gary said was like that's kind of what I had to do at Bam and that's kind of what helped me start there because obviously you know, being real, it's hard, hard for, you know, short white guys to play mm -hmm. at any, anywhere, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so that's kind of one thing you got to do. And like what he said, it's perfect because I'm expecting to do that. That's what I got to do, you know, because I feel like Bama is basically this transition, you know, same thing. You know, it's 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 hard. It's, comp it's competitive. Everyone in there is trying to take your job. And everyone's is good or if not better than you are. So, like you said, like just learning that playbook and doing that, that's something that I feel like I'm always going to have to do. And I work everybody. That kind of mind up. Yeah. I think that, I think Bo can talk, like can kind of hit on this. It's like, I mean, you come from Bama. All those dudes are, when they get to the NFL, almost every single one that we play with is one of the top guys in the league. So, I mean, coming from Bama, especially. For me, it was kind of easy transition going to the league because it's like I'm seeing I already went against round one corners, round one safeties, the best linebackers, everybody. So I think coming from Bama especially is such a huge, a huge jump for any any player, let alone a receiver.